Hi, my name is Grzegorz. My superpower is resistance to alarm clocks. And my talk is about traveling the world and being a nomadic programmer. So within the last six months, I've been traveling around the world. I've been living in hostels and I've been working part-time as a Ruby freelance developer. And today I want to share with you three lessons that I learned during this time. Let's go back in time. Uh, a few months ago, I had really well paid job. I had cool team that I could learn a lot from, but after some time, I started burning out. I basically stopped enjoying my work. Instead of taking a break, I started pushing harder. And long story short, I ended up being totally burned out. I was considering giving up my developer career and I didn't know what to do with my life. So what I did was I quit my job. I bought the ticket to the farthest place on earth, which if you live in Poland is New Zealand. And I went there with basically, I went there with basically no plans and no idea what I'm going to do. So lesson number one is don't get burned out. Better chill out like this bear. Really, I, I'm pretty sure that preventing burnout is much easier and better than recovering from it. So that's lesson number one. But as you may guess, my journey wasn't that bad. Uh, I've been traveling a lot, and actually it's been the best time of my life. I learned a lot during this time as a programmer and, about, and as, a, as a human being. One thing that I learned is that it's really cool to fight your fears. I am, I am a man who's afraid of lots of stuff. I'm afraid of heights, so if I'm in skyscraper, I don't go close to the window. Uh, I'm afraid of deep water. If I cannot reach ground with my feet, I start panicking. And actually, when I went to New Zealand, I left my comfort zone 70,000 kilometers from home, and I had no plans what to do. But within this time, today is day number 178. I've been to 60 different places, and I learned that I can, I can fight my fears. I can push my limits. And once you, once you leave your comfort zone, once you make this first step, it's, it's much easier and much better to do the things that you, you thought you were, not a bit, you were not able to do. So this was one thing that I did. The second one was jumping from this stuff on the rope. The third one was diving deep water. And that's lesson number one. Uh, number two, you can do everything. It's, it's possible, you're just, you're just not aware that you can do it. And lesson number three is about working. As I mentioned in the beginning, I, I started working as a, as a freelancer. When I started recovering from burnout, I, I started taking some small contracts. I was afraid that they're gonna limit my flexibility and that I will have to somehow limit my travel. But I started working everywhere. I work in trains, in planes, and in the middle of nowhere. This photo was taken in the middle of Taiwan. Uh, the hostel that I stayed had no hot water and no Wi-Fi, but it had beautiful views. And I had SIM card and I had mobile data package and that was enough to work. So lots of people tell me that they cannot imagine working without big screen and comfortable office. And I say that it's a matter of comfort. It's not a matter of productivity. I was as productive working there as I was in office. And it's just a trade-off of comfort. You can choose big screen and coffee machine in the office, or you can choose this view, or working next to the beach and going for surfing lessons just after your work. So that's lesson number three, and I learned it, I learned it in a hard way. I can work anywhere, I just need internet, and I need the reasonable temperature and level of noise around me. <laughs> If you want to talk about this topic, about traveling, about working when you're traveling, I will be happy to talk to you. I will be happy to hear your stories and to tell you more about my experience. And I hope to see you tonight at the party. Enjoy the rest of the talk.